we are doing one four and we're going to find the equation of a line now this is this is part two of one four so far today so you need to go back and watch the other one um, because it dealed with uh, find the equation of a line that was parallel to another line this one is a little bit more involved because you got two steps in it this one passes through two points so if I let's see I won't try to freehand a, a graph but let me just make one here like this and like this and what I'm gonna do is plot these two points on here four six one two three four one two three four five six so right there is four six and two 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 negative two rather will go down here right there so that's two negative two that looks good all right what we have to do is find the equation of and I'll make this line like red hopefully I can make this work perfect there it is okay so you need to write, be able to take any two points I throw at you and write the equation of, of a line that passes through those two points. And you may or may not know how to do this now. It is taught in Algebra 2, but often forgotten Algebra 2 as well. So let me show you. All right, so we'll go with green here. The first equation of the day here is the slope equation, or the slope formula. And you have to use this when you have two points like this. Uh, the slope formula says m equals, and then it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You probably remember that. It like rolls off the tongue after you say it a few times. This is the slope formula. And we come up here and we label these points x1, y1, x2, y2. You can see how I carefully labeled these. And then we're just going to plug these four things in this equation and figure out what the slope of that red line is. There are other methods of doing it, but this is the most popular for sure. So we've got the top. That's going to be negative 2 minus 6. Let's see, y2 minus y1. <clears throat> and on the bottom, it'll be 2 minus 4. So 2 minus 4. Simplifying. This is negative 8 over negative 2, which is... 4. So 4 is our slope, m. Okay, we need to circle that. We'll come back to that in a minute. But that's what the slope of this red line is. In other words, I should be able to go from this point up 4 over 1 and it be on this line. Up 4 over 1. Up 4 over 1 should give me that next one. Or up 8 over 2 will get it there in one shot, which is still 4 if you reduce it. But as beside the point. The next equation is called the point slope formula and you have to know it to to finish this problem because you're looking for the equation. We have the slope but you know we need to do more here. The point slope formula is as follows. It is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 and that is the point slope formula. You use this when you have a point and a slope. I know that's why it's called the point slope formula, but you use it when you have a point and a slope. And I have a point, I have two points to choose from and a slope. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is pick the point that looks the easiest to work with. And I bet if I took a poll, most people would pick the two positive numbers and I would agree with them. Um, so I'm going to pick 4, 6 as my point. So my, I'll label this slope was is m equals 4 and the point I'm going to use to plug into this will be 4 6 okay and I'm gonna call that x1 and y1 so this this x1 y1 is this right here so for you visual learners like me that that's those two points and then of course the slope 4 will go in here for this M. All right, so let's plug everything in now. So it's going to be Y minus Y1. So just shout it out. What would go here? What is it? Six, good. 
can already hear you with these headphones on. And then this would be four times x. Good. And I guess a step needed here now is to solve for y. So we need to solve it for y at this point. So I, you need to distribute this 4 through here. You probably remember that. This is y minus 6 equals 4x minus 16. And then we would continue solving for x, or y, rather. We would add 6. y equals 4x minus 10, it looks like. 10. And uh, and this would be our answer, hopefully. So let's just act like that's our answer and go over here and check it with this red line. Just eyeballing it. Now, I didn't use graph paper or anything like that. I just kind of eyeballed this. But does this look like this red line? Well, you know, if I continue down, there's 3, 4, 5. We know this is going to hit the y-axis at negative, negative 10 there. So if I keep going, there's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There would be my, you know, negative 10. And then if I go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1, I would hit that right there. Okay, so that actually worked out incredibly well. Um, and you can see what I did. I found the equation of that red line, which is just a line that passes through two points. And that's it. See you later.